Here's a really simple effect combination for you to use in your next music video or editing project. So we have our original clip on the timeline. This is a cool example because there's a lot of motion going on. And in order to begin, we're first going to duplicate the layer on top of itself. One quick shortcut to do that is to hold option and click and drag your layer onto a track above itself. Or you can just click and drag it, another instance of it from the project media panel. Next, we're going to highlight the top layer and head over to the effect controls panel. Remember, if you don't ever see any of these windows, you can always go to window and make sure you check on that panel if you can't find it. So in the effect controls panel, uh, we're first also going to want to go to the effects panel on the right hand side. So don't mix those up. This is the effects where we can find the effects. And this is the effect controls where, where we can control the parameters of those effects. We're going to search for one called posterize time. It's in the time video effects folder, and we're going to click and drag that on to the top instance of this clip. And you'll see it appear in the effects controls panel now. And this one's very simple. It only has one parameter to adjust, and that is the frame rate. So at 24 frames, it's just going to look like a smooth video, but you can adjust this all the way down to one frame. Um, so what will happen now is you'll see that only one frame per second will play. So it kind of becomes like a stop motion. We're getting random screenshots uh, of this top clip, um, but you can also make it faster. So like here's six, uh, you can see it's still not a smooth video. It almost looks like it's lagging, but it's not. Um, and here's 12 frames, for example. Um, so you can play around with this, but uh, the other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna blend a lower frame rate version of this clip onto the original smooth playing video underneath. And although there's many ways you can blend it, uh, you know, you can use a lowered opacity, you can use blending modes like lighten or darken. Those will give you a cool sort of effect. Uh, another interesting one that I've been playing with is actually the a keying effect called Luma Key. So you'll find this in the keying video effects folder. And if I click and drag this onto the clip, what Luma Key does is it keys out parts of the video based on the brightness or darkness of it. Sort of like the light in our darken, darken blending mode, but let's just turn all of this up back to 100% and normal. So here's 100% normal of the video clip. And just to show you what's going on, I'll also hide the clip underneath. So threshold and cutoff are the only two effects here. So here's the threshold of the clip here's zero zero you basically have the whole clip and a hundred percent at zero cutoff so now uh, we're only getting the highlights of this clip if i was to increase the cutoff point you see it, it gets a lot more sharp in contrast and if we kind of switch from 100 percent cutoff to zero percent threshold we get the opposite now we only get the shadows or the darker parts of this clip and the highlights are removed so let's say, for example, we do something like this, where we have a mix of both, but we sort of have this cutout of the trees and the break dancer. I also think it'll be nicer if it's uh, not as harsh. So we're adjusting these percentages a little bit. Here's a 33 and 66% combination. And if I turn the original clip back on underneath, you'll see it'll fill in all of these black or transparent parts. If you ever want to see it actually transparent, you can click on this uh, wrench icon and you can go to transparency grid and you'll see what's actually going on. It's not black, it's just transparent. So when I show the clip underneath again, it fills in and since it's the same clip, that's what gives us this trippy stamping effect where the new cutout layer is stamped on top. And I, I kind of like this Luma key method as opposed to the blending mode method because it just feels a little bit more like visually trippy. You can't, it's, it, you can't tell what's going on as much. Like the blending mode trick I've shown in videos before, but this Luma key trick, it's just uh, a little bit harder for your eye to tell what's happening. And I think it looks a little bit cooler. And the main thing to adjust at this point would be the frame rate. So this is six frames per second. It looks pretty cool, but we can also check out what it would look like at a faster rate, like 12, if we want like a, even more smooth if we want like an even more subtle smooth glitch 
uh, it's really it's kind of hard for your eye to tell what's going on it feels like the frame is moving in a weird way uh, this is 12 you can also see what it looks like at one this would be the most extreme on the slower end but anything less than the original frame rate will look interesting so overall from here this is a good starting point combination for you to continue playing around and adjusting this effect to your own taste uh, you, i mean you could even imagine doing differences of color on, to, on this top layer since it's separated you know let's maybe here's what an invert would look like if we inverted the color that might be interesting perhaps what if we inverted the bottom layer actually that might be an idea as well or what if we just simply added a bit of a color tint or maybe even lumetri color adjustments overall a, a lot of different combinations that you can come up with from that starting point so if you enjoyed this tutorial my name is Justin Odisho. You can check out hundreds of more ideas and free tutorials on my YouTube channel in the playlist sections. And you can also subscribe to stay tuned for all my future videos. If you're interested, I also have effects packs and resources available on my website, justinodisho.com slash shop for you to use in Premiere and other programs. And you can keep in touch with me on social media at Justin Odisho if you want to reach out or see what I'm up to. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.